Hi, I'm going to explain about uh, two input NAND gate using NMOS technology. Or else you may ask the question like this uh, Design uh, the circuit for Y is equal A dot B whole bar. So, this is the NAND gate, and as we know that the NAND gate uh, symbol is like this, and it is having two inputs, two inputs A and B, and the output for NAND gate is Y is equal A dot B whole bar. A dot B whole bar. So for this, this is only the symbol, but uh, internal circuit uh, is there. How to draw and what are the uh, rules for that? I will tell you. I will explain. So before that, we know that uh, the truth table for NAND gate zero dot zero, zero into zero is equal to zero. Bar means that is one. Bar means that is one. Zero into one zero. Bar means one. And one into zero one. Bar means one. 1 into 1, 1, 1 bar means 0. So, this is the truth table and this is the internal circuit for the 2 input NAND gate using NMOS technology. So, how to draw and what are the rules I will tell you here. So, we need to design for the NAND gate using uh, NMOS technology A dot B whole bar. So, as, as we discussed, uh, the rules for uh, designing gate is if multiplication is there, Pull down network should be in uh, series and two inputs are there. If three inputs are there, we need to draw three transistors. If two inputs are there, we need to use uh, that is two transistors. Should be series A dot B. Pull down network. This is the pull down network uh, rule to get the output easily. So if plus addition is there, A plus B, these two transistors should be in parallel. So pull down network. Of course, so pull up is. Uh, should be in parallel if it is CMOS technology. Now we'll go with NMOS technology. A y dot y is equal to a dot b whole bar using NMOS technology. So as we are discussing, both the transistors should be in series. A and B should be in series. This is I'm assuming A, and this is uh, the input B. Of course, supply is required, supply and the ground. Now, using NMOS technology is saying that, so pull-up network, pull-up transistor uh, also should be, it is uh, NMOS, but they are using, that is depletion mode NMOS. So, this is the depletion mode symbol, dark line, and the gate is connected to source. It is connected to source. So this is an gate and this is an V out, V out. So here we can see this. This supply is required here anyhow. This is the supply VDD, VDD. And this is an NMOS but it is a depletion mode transistor. And uh, of course it is a pull up network. And these are these two transistors are, I am assuming this is T1 and T2 and T3. So, T2, T3 transistors are pull down transistor and it is NMOS, both are NMOS enhancement mode transistor. Enhancement mode transistor. So, here this is also NMOS and enhancement mode transistor, V transistor. Now, we can see this. Uh, it is a source and gate and drain terminals are there and this is source and gate and drain, source, gate, drain. Source and gates are interconnected and, and that too it is a depletion mode transistor. Always it is, always depletion mode means there is a channel between uh, source and drain while design a transistor. While fabrication only it is there is a channel is formed between source and drain and that we hear source and gates are interconnected. So it is always in on condition because here there is a sufficient VGS, sufficient VDS uh, then threshold voltage. So that's the reason here it is in on condition. It is in on condition transistor. Coming to here, we'll check it once, uh, one condition uh, in NAND gate outputs while giving 0 and 0, 0 dot 0 is equal to 0, bar means equal to 1 we need to get. So, this is the truth table. So, this is A dot B 
whole bar means there will be whole bar means one. So this is and the truth table for the NAR gate, NAND gate. So we need to get uh, 0, 0, we need to get uh, one output. So I will check it here, A equal to 0, I am giving B equal to 0. So as we discussed always, uh, for NMOS transistor, so when it is goes to on condition, so this is I am assuming source and gate left side corner, you can observe this. VGS voltage between gate and source should be more than threshold voltage for the transistor. Then only it will go to on condition. Otherwise, it will go to off condition. Now we can see this. It is NPN. NPN. So it will go to off condition. It will go to off condition because there is no sufficient VGS and this is not enough to go to on condition. Zero volt, zero while giving zero. Or else you can assume like that, as I said, uh, it is P, NPN transistor, and it is zero means assume that negative. So negative to positive, it is reverse pass, goes to off condition. So similarly, it will go to off condition because of insufficient VGS. And or else you can assume like this, this is also NPN transistor, just assumption, NPN. So zero means negative, P means positive, zero to positive, reverse pass, goes to off condition. Now the down, pull down network, this is an pull down, T2, T3 are named as pull down network. So these two are in off condition and this depletion mode transistor is in on condition. Now the VDD is flowing through this transistor T1 and available across the output. So therefore the output should be high here because it is acted as an open circuit. So we can check it while giving 0, 0, we need to get output is 1. Similarly, I will check it one more condition, 1 in 1, 1, B equal to 1, 1 dot, 1 multiplied with 1, 1, 1 bar means 0, we need to get it. Second condition, I will check it. So I will check it second condition and I am giving here second condition. So here uh, we can see this, I am A equal to 1, I am assuming, B equal to 1, I am assuming. So now anyhow it is depletion mode transistor and source and gates are interconnected so that it is always on condition. So when we are giving 1, so this is NPN transistor, there is a sufficient VGS between gate and source. So therefore it will go to on condition or else one more you can assume like this, one is positive, P means positive, just an assumption. So both are in forward bias, positive to positive to forward bias goes to on condition. Similarly, it, it will goes to on condition. Now we can see this, uh, all the three transistors are in on condition. So it will, T1 is on and uh, it is also on condition, T2 and T3 also on condition. Then total it is, it, it is grounded and hence uh, across the output there is Nothing available here, therefore we will get zero output. Hence, while giving zero one one, we need we need to get zero, so we are getting zero output. So like this, we need to uh, get, uh, of course, uh, remaining two inputs also. We will get the uh, our required output. Why it is NMOS means we are using. We can see this NMOS enhancement mode. NMOS enhancement mode and NMOS depletion mode. All are NMOS transistors only. That's why it is named as using NMOS technology. But in CMOS technology, they are going to use PMOS technologies. So like this, we can uh, design our required gate. If it is only A and B, so two gates we are using. If uh, three are there, we can design, uh, we can go with uh, three transistors at the pull down. So same logic will apply A dot B dot C whole bar. But 3 will get in series. So like this we can design any number of circuits by using NMOS technology. Thank you.